Hello my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you today? Welcome watchers, cross watchers. My name is Donna. We're getting ready to do a love reading for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have release. Pisces, what's going on here? That is a beautiful card of release. Just raising, raising her head to the, to the universe, asking for answers. It's a beautiful energy, quite exquisite, honestly. Okay, what else do we have? Acceptance. Okay, acceptance and release. Okay, that can be acceptance or release of a thought, a pattern, a situation. We have realization. Okay, Pisces, big epiphanies coming in here. Some real understanding of what you need, what's going to make you happy. Um, something about your life is definitely going to change and it's going to open up new opportunities for you. All right, so it could be a new love reading for all we know. Let's see what we have here. So Pisces, at the bottom of the deck, the energy that we have for you is the death card. Okay, well, this looks like releasing somebody from the past, a relationship that you might have been holding on to. The death card is it's time to rebirth. Look at that. We also have the Wheel of Fortunes turning in your favor, Use, using your intellect to accept something that was a lot of fun but maybe didn't have a foundation. All right, but we're going to look. This is an exciting reading. I like this. Okay, so what do we have in the recent past between you and a mutual love interest? <laughs> pure Venus, pure love, pure enjoyment, pure pleasure. This is the card of Taurus. You know, it's a Taurus energy. She's manifesting. This is a card of manifestation. Now, it's not pregnancy unless we get the Ace of Wands here or here, okay? So we see the two of you are manifesting a beautiful, intense, very pleasurable, very rich and loving uh, acceptance of one another very much a realization that the love maybe that you were holding on to that you've released was you thought they were the one but they weren't all right pisces the mutual energy right now between you and a lover ten of cups there you are in your reading pisces i love it ten of cups is all about pure happiness pure joy pure emotionality we see a beautiful rainbow here you know, love of all types. We see two children dancing, you know, two energies here that are sharing a life together of joy, gratitude, happiness. How does your person see the situation currently? Seven of Swords. Hmm. It's a weird energy, actually. You know, but what this means a lot of times is that people don't share their feelings or they're hiding them at the beginning stages of a relationship. And since we see the death, this could be the rebirth of an old relationship, but you know, either way, take it as it resonates. How they view you, Pisces, eight of wands, fiery, passionate, exciting, communicative, filled with laughter, love, a love of travel. They see you as someone who's very dynamic, that's Sagittarius energy. Seven of Swords is the energy of Aquarius, try, seeking enlightenment, doing surveillance, not really sure what the path forward of you, you know, with you is going to bring. In their heart space, Pisces, they feel as though you are their best friend. The Three of Cups is oftentimes the bridesmaids dancing at a wedding, but this is a card of deep camaraderie, friendship, love, affection, starry nights, enjoying one another's company unconditionally how they see the path forward okay so interesting energy here the hair uh, the hermit energy is virgo energy seeking answers looking for enlightenment trying to see the path forward so right now your person it seems like it's very early and uh, they're just very introspective very cautious trying to find a way to have a win in this, this situation with you. The mutual energy between the two of you is giving up some burdens, moving forward after a very difficult time. So both of you may be in a situation where you're healing. That may be a mutual energy. 
you know. So we're going to clarify, though, because the, the truth is in the clarifiers, you know. Spirit is saying that this could be, um, you know, just some player in and out energy. It isn't necessarily long term. So Spirit is saying be cautious. This could be just for fun. It could be a short term relationship. We don't know that yet. But with the Seven of Swords, I could also see where uh, Pisces, your person, may not be in it for the long term. You know, the mutual energy is they might have said that they were, they might not have been honest, or they might be simply unaware that they're falling in love so deeply. But spirit is is giving you a warning here, and a, a burden has to be released. So let's see the short-term outcome for this reading as a two of swords. Self-imposed, you know, that's, I really always, it's like refusing to see something, refusing to have your eyes open. Uh, it's self-imposed restriction. It's deliberately not going the distance. It's choosing not to move forward for the short term anyway. Again, a lot of times in a new relationship, people are very, very cautious. And it looks like both of you are in healing energy right now. So let's see what the clarifiers are. This is, this is a mystery a bit here. So let's see, what do we have that you need to release? Pisces, what needs does Tracy have to release something I also do request I am broadcasting from Chicago I love it when you tell me where you're from in the comments below I always appreciate that a thumbs up if you do like the video if you find it helpful insightful uh, it's always appreciated release what are you releasing ah competition oh interesting energy releasing low levels of you know sort of egotistical energy trying to make somebody jealous releasing that which doesn't serve you that you know it's a fire sign energy it's leo energy it can be egotistical energy about competing and trying to make each other jealous four of swords acceptance that maybe you have hurt each other in the past it does look like this could be a reconciliation i'm really feeling that could be the energy the strength card says the two of you have the ability with the realizations of how to, you know, have the courage to move forward, to heal, the realization that the two of you might have been playing games, being more grounded in this relationship. And when we get the, the hanged man, that really feels like it clarifies that hermit card, waiting to take action until you have a realization. Look at that. I just went to shuffle the cards and the emperor card is here. So for some of you, this could be a reconciliation energy. It could be someone coming back into your life, somebody that you might have been married to. It could be someone that you had a long-term relationship with. And it looks like you have hit uh, a spot in your life where you need to transform the relationship, but there is a strong leadership. We have emperor and empress. We have divine coupledom. So it's a powerful energy. So it could be a relationship that's in the process of healing, that you're doing the work. So why is the Empress here? Whoops, a daisy. Oh, we have all these cards here. The Empress is here. Oh, three of cups. Again, best friends, deep love. Look at that energy. That is very powerful. Three of cups energy twice. Sometimes people are married a long time and they end up becoming very good friends but falling out of romantic love with each other for some of you. That could be the story. It could be like loving someone so much, but the romance might be gone for a few of you. Won't be for many, but for some of you it may be. The Nine of Wands. Okay, fire in your belly to make things work. Fire in your belly to fight for the relationship. That is a wounded warrior who's still in it to win it. That's kind of a till death do us part energy. Seven of Swords. It's clarified by the Seven of Wands. Your person feels very defensive about a secret that they have, something that they're keeping quiet. What is it, the Two of Wands? They haven't fully, your person here is still at a crossroads. They are not quite sure what they can give to the relationship, but they do not want to walk away. Your person is very much in the energy of wanting this to work. Six of Cups, wanting the two of you to reconcile, uh, to have a reunion to meet up again the two of you might be in separation quite literally physically 
you might be at a distance. Why do we have the Six of Cups here? Seven of Coins, your person really wants to invest. So that is a card of uh, Taurus energy, you know, sort of an in it to win it, patient, a day at a time kind of energy. Why do they see you as a Ten of Wands, Five of Swords? I got that for Scorpio, I think. Five of Swords says that you have every reason to be angry and they know you know, it looks like there's there's also the feeling that you may have been dishonest with them. Sharp words have been spoken, no matter who spoke them. But there have been shark, shark, you know, a shark in the water. Very, very painful words. Very painful communication. Something that may have come up about very quickly. Something that was said in the heat of the moment. With the Eight of Wands, tell us what else? Four of Cups. So your person sees you, Pisces, as maybe not being as interested in them as they are in you. It looks like you're holding back. You're not really accepting their cup of love. It does show that they consider you their soulmate. They want a legacy love with you. They want to collaborate with you, but they're just not sure that you're, you know, that you're feeling it. They feel as though you're not really letting go of them, but you're also holding back. So the Hanged Man and the Hermit card, please spirit, tell us, Spirit, what we have here for our Pisces friends. The Justice card, balancing out karma, making things work, making an injustice right. Uh, the Heart of Pentacles, okay. So I really do like that energy. We go from Virgo to Taurus energy. That's the energy of the King of Pentacles, the Daddy card. So it does look like your person may have been dishonest. You may have discovered it and become quite angry with them uh, that the relationship needs to heal. Let's see, we have, and the Hermit card again. So your person is not seeing a path. They feel as though they've burned the house down in a manner of speaking the Tower card. We're gonna see what that tower is about. Let's dig into that tower. What is What was the tower? What was the realization? The sudden epiphany. Ace of Cups, new love, Seven of Swords. So what I'm seeing, Pisces, is that your person, you or your person may have fallen in love with somebody else or might have been. It doesn't look like an affair per se because I'm not getting the Three of Swords as of yet, the Two of Coins as of yet. So we'll see. The Ten of Wands, what is the burden here? Closing out a cycle. Absolutely saying, you know what? We had a good run while it lasted. We have to give up the burdens of the past. This is a successful, though, ending for the two of you in the future. Devil Energy, first time today I've seen this card. Um, but there is some toxicity here. There's some unhealthy. Um, there's a, possibly... A, a tendency not to be honest with each other. There's a tendency for your person to play games. Oh, wow, this is a tough reading. Temperance is reversed. Pisces, this may not be a relationship that's going to be easy to heal. It looks like you want to, or your person wants to. But Spirit is saying, you know, just enjoy yourself, live in the moment. So, judgment card. Releasing toxic energy is what I'm seeing. Player energy. So it does look like there was a relationship. There might have been an affair within the context of a relationship. And that's why you have to really heal. That's why there has to be acceptance and release before you can heal the relationship to go forward. Page of Swords. Somebody may have found something out online. Uh, you might be in the process of this or be curious about it. Your outcome card at this time, short term, is no action with the Ten of Cups. Okay, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. The two of you really love each other, that's not in doubt. Chariot card, Cancer energy. This is Pisces energy, here you are in your reading. But what we're seeing is two people who really love each other, who have gone through a period of time where there was juggling, where there was, it looks like, possibly a secret Either an emotional sort of crush on somebody. Yeah. I'm not thinking this was a full-blown affair, but I do think that there was some, some conversation out of the context of this relationship with another. Could be texting someone else. You know, oftentimes I find that 
um, men in a work relationship will end up with uh, a coworker who texts them because they have a crush on them, but they use work as an excuse. So there could be something like that in this reading. But I would say Pisces right now, this is a time of healing for you. It's a time of getting your feet back on the ground and a time for you to really determine what makes you happy and what doesn't. So for now, I am sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And I hope to see you again in another reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.